This guy doesn't have a gun, but he killed himself, and there's blood on the wall. Did he just smash his head into the wall? That's hard fucking core, bro. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon. Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. I woke up at midnight. I went to bed. I wasn't even tired. So I just laid down for a couple hours. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck? Oh, well. That's how it goes sometimes. Maybe we could just forage a little bit. Forage for berries early in the morning. Early in the morning. I didn't find anything. Give me more. I like how they give you a little uh, decision dialogue too. Like, what do you want to look for? I don't know, anything. Okay. You found a, a bow of you. A you bow. Wow, what can I use that for? I don't know. Starting a fire, maybe? Eating it if you uh, need some fire, fiber in your diet? Fire in your diet? I got fireball whiskey laying around if you want some fire in your diet, boy. That delicious cinnamon whiskey. You wouldn't have thought it was so good, but it is. And uh, here's where all those zombies were lurking in the last episode. I said I would clear them out, and I'm a man of my word. Boom. I shot that bitch while standing up. Amazing! The blunt accuracy, it's getting so good. Uh, got a maggot, got a doll. We've got enough dolls at the tea party, okay? Two dolls is fine, uh, but three dolls is way too much. Especially if they're wearing the same thing. They're, they're gonna fight, it's, it's not gonna be good. This much I know. I've seen it all before, okay? Let's, uh, get this guy. See if he's got any toys. I feel kind of bad for the, the zombies that I killed that have a doll on them. Like, you know, it's either a child zombie and they don't want to show it, or it's like a mentally retarded zombie. And, uh, I mean, you don't see a fucking 20 or 30 year old walking around with a doll very often, unless they, unless they got a problem, you know? Not that I want to discriminate. If you do, then that's fine. I think you should fucking do you. Carry that doll and be proud. But, uh, don't be surprised if people are a bit standoffish. I'd be a little standoffish at first as well. Like, she's crazy! There was a movie about that. The Boy? Something like that? Yeah. It's about, uh, people who take... take care of a doll like it's a real person or something. And then it turns out to be a person that's living in their wall! Oh shit, spoilers. If you're gonna see that, then, uh, probably don't see it now. Dayton ruined this movie for me. I would watch it, but a guy I watch on YouTube already ruined it. Sorry. Sorry. It's an accident. I just uh, wanted to share with you some of my life experiences. It happens. Where's that fucking... There you are. Hey, buddy. Hide behind the trees, Mr. Sneaky. Huh. <laughs> Panic. Yeah, right. I haven't been panicked by a zombie in a long time. Unless they pop out and like almost fucking bite me. Then I get a little... a little uppity. But it's been a couple uh, episodes since the last time, right? Maybe? See, I can't even recall. It just happens so often. You almost die in this game so often, and then it doesn't happen, and I'm like, alright. I guess we're good. We'll keep it rolling. I'm just trying to get these... This fucking zombie's away from my house. I don't know how they crept up so close without me uh, even noticing. But there is a giant horde. I've probably killed about 10 or 15 of them so far. Lay down. Oh, she's got a dollar bill. I'm gonna add this to my pile of money. And probably I can use the money as like kindling. If worse comes to worse. Or if vendors get in the game and they give a shit about money. But I assume that they won't. They'll just be like, eh, whatever. Maybe the metal money that I'm not even collecting, because, you know, you could melt down a nickel into a bullet relatively easy. There's a TV on in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Turn off. I don't need this shit. I want to rest for just a minute. Yeah. Get rid of that exertion... And I have a little, uh, little drinky drink. We're doing things. Early in the morning and we're doing things. Isn't that so nice? It feels so productive. 
productive and wonderful. Uh-oh. I missed. Don't miss when you swing your baseball bat, because they come up on you. Trying to get the, the backswing going. But you might not you might not do it fast enough. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Fuck this. I wanna close the door. Get out of here. Burglar alarm! That means I haven't been in that house yet. Which means uh I want to go in there. There's all these hidden houses. It's alright. Think I'm scared of you? Little zombies? I ain't. Lay down. It's probably uh, gonna be a lot more. I'm basically only taking care of one side of the house. This is a zombie bloodbath this morning. That's what I'm doing now. Look at that one. Look at this one. Go away. You don't belong here. She actually is trying to walk away. She's like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please don't beat my brains. Oh! Oh! I'm dead now! You were dead before. You just didn't know it. But now you're super dead. The real kind of dead. The dead that you were supposed to be all along before you started getting up and walking around. Don't you see? I've helped you. Oh, and now it's raining again. Damn it! Uh, open this window. I don't want it to break. Here, fella. Come on out here. Come on out here so you can die. Alright. Everybody's got dirty clothes on. I'd like to find some clean clothes because everything I have on right now is uh, bloody. Bloody and dirty. Let's run through here, try and get some attention. Hey! I'm seeking attention! Didn't you know? I bet you did. Somebody who's on YouTube definitely is seeking some kind of attention. Whether it's positive or negative. Initially I said, I'm, I'm gonna upload these videos for myself. And then nobody was watching and I'm like, I'm gonna stop this shit. <laughs> Which is how I knew that I lied to myself before. It was just uh, to get myself started. And then I realized that it ain't that fulfilling if uh, nobody gives a shit. Just a little, a little comment now and then. Come on, man. That's all I really need. Keep me motivated. Even if uh, the ad apocalypse went all the way, and they're like, "Guess what? You can't make money on YouTube anymore." I'd be like, "That's fine. I don't really actually care that much about that." It's nice. It's a good little bonus. Once in a while, you know? Every couple of months you get a check in the mail and you're like, Hey, how about that? Not a couple of months. <laughs> Year and a half? Two years? Whatever. I've gotten two checks, basically. Two checks in three years. And I could sign up with like a... A network or some shit like that. And then they would pay me often. Like every time I made money, they would put it in my PayPal or whatever. But, eh, then I'm giving them money for doing nothing, basically. Which I don't want to do. You gonna make some money off my hard work, bro? That shit I can't stand. I understand. You want that delicious five cents that I made. God damn it. I cut myself walking through the window. I was just trying to open the door. Oh, fart. Alright, disinfect it. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Lay down. I'm in pain, so it's uh, a little harder to take care of these zombos. Oh, where's my painkillers? Daddy needs his painkillers! Ah, oh, life seems a lot better now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take two, because why not? You think, you think I want to live in this world? You think I care about the life the life of my liver at this point? If I could die of liver disease, that would be a, a blessing in the zombie apocalypse. Don't you see? Nobody gives a shit at this point. We're just trying not to get eaten. If you could die any way except being eaten, then uh, you basically won. You won. 
Except I always complain about how uh, if I get in the rain, it's going to be like the most sissy way to die ever. Hmm. Koran floor. Get out of here from all these decent books. Wouldn't want you giving them any bad ideas. Oh my god, I got two of them. Two of them in this house. Why is this? Don't you don't you need one? Isn't one good? Back scratcher, butt scratcher, butt scratcher, butt scratcher. Are there some toys in this room? Oh, it looks like there might be some toys. No, just a gun. <laughs> they, they let their kids have a gun in their room? That doesn't seem right. Whatever. I'm not your parent. Thank God. Because I would have some choice words for you, children. Mostly words like what and the and fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you have a gun? Why does it only have one bullet? Is this so if you have like a bad day at high school? You know, you just come home and you're like, eh, I've had enough. Like, dude, the next fucking 50 years of your life could have been awesome. You gave up at 15? You fucked up. You fucked up. And uh, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. It was a very selfish thing you did. Your parents are going to be so sad they invested all this time and money into you. And you're just like, eh, fuck everything. I'll blow my head off. Not good. Not good. I gotta say, I don't much approve. I try to be uh, sensitive and understanding. But, uh, yeah. That's about all the understanding you're gonna get. Look, I get it. I've been there before. But looking back, that's, that's the worst idea ever. That's the worst idea ever. Please, don't ever do it. A plea from your old pal, Dayton Do. Or rather, Dayton didn't. <laughs> Commit suicide, I mean. <laughs> this got really dark. Really dark, really quick. The Torah. Hey, look at this. The Goyim No. And they have a Koran and a Torah in this house? These are some conflicted people. I'm going to tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. There's even more books. Wow. These people are well read, are they not? Interesting. Well, let's get up here. Somebody jumped out this fucking window. Interesting. How could this happen? Who would have made this choice? I mean, jumping out the window, that's, that's an even worse choice. If you can choose between jumping out the window or the handgun, just just use the handgun. It makes a bit more of a mess, but uh, it's a lot less painful. <laughs> that's that's my vote, you know. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Oh shit! Here's a Spiffo doll. Hell yeah, bro. I'm gonna wear some uh some fresh fresh clothes as well. That would be nice. Put this new skirt on. And uh, I'll rip this clothing up. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And make a Molotov cocktail. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I saw that house that I wanted to burn down in the last episode, so uh, I'm gonna keep an eye out. I'm gonna keep an eye out and try and burn it down. And the rest of these bandages are dirty because I guess I ripped up some bloody clothes. You can sterilize it though in a pot of water, boiling water, rather. So that might be a good idea. And I left my lighter at home, so I'm gonna take this one. Wonderful. Found some whiskey. I don't get to drink it, but I do get to make a Molotov cocktail. Which is nice. Don't need to be drunk in the zombie apocalypse anyways. I mean, you do. <laughs> Obviously. But uh, it's not a good idea. You'll last longer if you're not drunk. You'll last longer if you're not on painkillers too. Which, uh, I said I was imbibing too many on purpose. <laughs> but hey, this ain't my real character, really. Maybe the painkillers would be okay. Maybe you could just lay down in front of uh, a bunch of zombies and, like, be on a bunch of painkillers and not really know that you're dead. You know? Just be like, ah, oh, whatever. Whatever, yeah, it's over. There's a dirty bandage. Dirty, dirty bandage! 
I disinfect. <clears throat> there we go. My health is declining just a little bit. I'm bleeding my life force onto the floor. These zombies will be so hungry for. Need a little more drink. So that's what they do at the blood bank, you see? If you, uh, if you give them blood, then they're like, Here, have a cookie and some orange juice. And I was like, I understood there would be money involved. And they're like, no, just cookies and orange juice. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. Awesome. Super. Why did I do this again? Oh, yeah. You can help people. That's always nice. But, you know, unless there's, like, a major tragedy, nobody, nobody ever really does it. Who do you know that goes to a blood bank regularly? You might know someone. There are some people that are dedicated to doing that, but, um... I think the majority only do it when there's, like, a tragedy. After that Las Vegas shooting, blood banks are fucking packed. You can't even get enough people in there. But then, uh, yeah. Most of the year, you know, before it happens, when it matters... <laughs> because, you know, there were some people that needed blood, like, immediately. And they might not have had it. Because people don't, um, do it in advance. They're just like, oh... It's the day after a tragedy. Should probably go give blood now. Bro. Get on that shit. Earlier. More earlier! Yes, another tragedy's going to happen. I mean, it's not something that I wish for, obviously. But it's an inevitability. That's, that's just life. Life on planet Earth. Bad shit happens. A lot. And, uh, sometimes it's even outside of America. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, most of the time it is. But nobody talks about that shit. It's like, eh, whatever. Whatever. I got my own stuff going on. Well, maybe you should, uh, care about humanity as a whole. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. If you want to, maybe you should. Then you can, uh, feel self-righteous. So I think that's the only reason that people do that. I read uh, an interesting article that was like uh, explaining how when people do good things, they feel uh, more justified in doing bad things. You know, the easiest example of that would be like, oh, I worked out today, so I'm going to eat a fucking giant chocolate cake. It's like, well, you're going to end up fatter because you burned 200 calories working out and ate 800 calories in a fucking chocolate cake. It should not make no sense. And then uh, people also do it. Uh, I think this was posted on like one of those Hollywood things. You know, Weinstein like molested all these Hollywood women or whatever. And then uh, he, he stood up. He was at the forefront and he's like marching for women's rights and all this other stuff. But it's all a fucking facade. You know what I mean? Somebody was saying like uh, people who are sort of misogynist or branded as misogynists are actually more inclined to, like, respect women and their opinions, which makes sense to me. I wouldn't say I'm, like, a staunch misogynist or anything, you know. My wife could do whatever she want, basically. Uh, but yeah. I definitely, uh, have some, some viewpoints and opinions that make her go, oh, why, why, why are you gonna think that? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just what I think. This is what I think, it's just how I've been raised, it's just, um, oh god. It's just a bunch of zombies in the bathroom. There we go. And that's always interesting, you know. I like to talk to people who are, uh, middle of the road. They're probably the, the best people to get advice from, don't you know? And my wife is pretty middle of the road, too. We're both conservative, but we, she leans more towards the middle than I do. At least in my opinion. She might, she might say differently if you ask her about it. But you ain't gonna get to ask her about it. Because you don't know who she is. Ha ha ha. Unless, unless like you're uh, one of my buddies. One of my true internet buddies. You know, Nico. Nico could ask me and I'd be like, okay. I tell you. <laughs> but it's a secret though. It's a secret. Don't let the cat out of the bag or whatever. Is that blood on the fucking wall? Why is there blood on the wall? 
This guy doesn't have a gun, but he killed himself, and there's blood on the wall. So, like, did he just smash his head into the wall? That's hard fucking core, bro. How did you do that? <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna take some sleeping tablets with me. That should uh, help me sleep through the night a bit better than I have been. And some painkillers. That should also keep me, uh, relatively rested. Oh, was that the last of them? Oh no. I just had some in my main inventory. I see. Quite, indeed. How many painkillers did I just take? Three? I better be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna take painkillers and sleeping pills, and then I wake up dead. Damn, this room's just filled with trash. What the fuck? Reminds me of my friend Nate, who is now a hobo. He just didn't give a shit. <laughs> I rented him a room in uh, the apartment that I used to have, and that shit filled up with trash. And I don't mean like filled up like, oh, there was some trash on the floor. I mean, the floor, the carpet was not able to be seen. It was impressive, but I was also pretty disgusted. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fucking, like, you know, uh, a, a clean freak or anything like that. I think as long as things are halfway tidy, I'm like, mm, it's fine. But that shit, mm, I didn't want to go hang out in there. <laughs> it, it, it was just crazy. I wish I had a picture of it. I wish I had a picture of it to show you. So you could realize how uh, how severe it was, exactly. But trust me when I say... That shit was insane. Insanity. You ever have a roommate like that? You ever have a roommate? At all? Shit kinda sucks. Even if you're like rooming with your best friend or something like that, eventually you're just like, I'm so sick of you. I'm so sick of you. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why we're friends. And then eventually, uh, you guys, you guys come back around and you're just like, oh. That's why we're friends. Because you're awesome! And he's like, you're awesome too, bro. And I'm like, cool, bro. High five. High five, dude. I got a thing of concrete powder. Don't ask me why I picked it up. Because I'm not sure myself. I just... I want to get, like, some, uh... Some construction going. I've got, like, all this plaster and concrete. And buckets to mix the plaster and the concrete. But, uh... Yeah, I've not done it so far, and I can't tell you why. I can't really tell you why. It's a mystery. A mystery to all. There's a lot of painkillers here. Can I just take some of these? Couldn't hurt. Some painkillers and sleeping tablets. That's what I need. Vitamins, beta blockers, alcohol wipes, bandages. Yeah. I take basically all of this. Why? Because it's here. That's why. Uh-oh. Something's bumping around downstairs. What's going on? Who's in my house? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I nap. Just real quick, I nap. Oh, Jesus. Did you hear that? That was like three windows breaking at one time. Well, I guess we uh better be careful. We'd better be careful. I don't know if it was this house or not. Seems like the windows are intact over here. Yeah. But there was definitely a, one of these houses being broken into. Or out of. I'm not sure which. Well, seems to be relatively okay. I do hear some more knocking, though. Nitric acid. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna figure out what the fuck to do with this. Probably used to make fertilizer, but uh, maybe I could also use it to make a bomb. That would be pretty cool. Hey! Get away from that window. I like how the TVs have finally gone out. It used to have, like, actual programming on the TVs, and now it's, like, dead. This is a message from the emergency broadcast system of the United States. Two, tw two trains have struck the Twin Towers. I was gonna say planes. Never mind. It's not good. We're not gonna make a 9-11 joke. 
That's, that's tasteless. That's just tasteless. You can trust me, I know about good taste, okay? <laughs> that's not true. That's not true, that's the joke! <laughs> oh, did I pick up that fucking pumpkin? I guess so. I just stopped eating it. Oh no, there it is. I don't know why I stopped eating it. It was so delicious. I'm trying to keep myself nice and healthy while I uh, fight this infection. Disinfect. Oh, you can disinfect with vodka? That would be nice. Give myself a little drunky drunk, huh? That's a bonus. And uh, it seems like that scratch is healing relatively well. My first aid skill. Buff that shit. Buff it up. Uh. I'm gonna take some sleeping pills. It's about time. Helps getting to sleep. Useful when anxious or in pain. But really, uh, you shouldn't take sleeping pills in your real life. It was a, a study done on people that took sleeping pills versus people that didn't. People that took sleeping pills ended up dying in their sleep like 400% more than people who don't. So, I don't know. If you want to die in your sleep, then, then go ahead. Like I said, little Dayton doesn't care because uh, it's the zombie apocalypse. He would feel blessed to die in his sleep. Although... I'm not sure if you have to be bit to become a zombie, or just if you die, you become a zombie. Because the the lore is always different, isn't it? And we haven't really established how this is happening in Project Zomboid. Could be like a meteor, uh, a space rock passing too close to the Earth, you know? And then, uh, I don't know. Then everybody who dies become a zombie. I think that happens in... Is it Night of the Living Dead? No. The only person we saw transform was the the mother who got eaten by the, the little girl. So, I don't know what I'm talking about. I should grab some more pallets. That's what I should do. Oh well. Eventually. Trust me. Eventually. Uh, let's put the Triceratops closer to the monkey. And then Spiffo could sit right here between the dinosaurs. Oh yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Shit, man. I'm loving this so much. That's a dragon? It's Barney. It's a purple dinosaur. I love you. You love me. You love me, right? You love me? Tell me you fucking love me! Alright. Uh, I got one more shelf where I could put some stuff, right? Yeah. Let's put some stuff on here. Oh my god, I totally forgot to, uh, to fucking hit up that house that had all the zombies wandering around in it. Piss and balls. That's alright. I'll keep my Molotov on me. We'll, we'll get to it eventually. We got some carrot seeds, broccoli seeds. Yeah, I guess beta blockers can go there too. Why not? This was supposed to be like a, a storage place for stuff that I use relatively often. It has become something completely different. But oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about Sometimes. You remember Sometimes? Oh uh, yeah, I, I remember. I, I remember it. Uh, Nitric acid. I'm definitely going to have to look up what to do with that. Because it seems relatively important. There's some honey. Mmm. Honey. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up fucking <laughs> passing out. I took my sleeping pills. I'm so fucking tired now. <clears throat> Did I take more than one? I can't remember. I hope I just took the one. But, uh... It's really effective. <laughs> it is so fucking effective. I'm not even going to have time to, to finish putting all this stuff away before just passing. That's uh, fine. Now I'm in my house. I'm sure sleeping on the floor is not going to be as effective as sleeping in the bed. The bed that I made. Fucking awesome bed that I made. And I have a needle somewhere. Yeah. I have this needle. This is relatively important. Although they did change it so you can make beds with a sewing needle now. Which fucking 
Too late for me. I already did that shit. I already struggled through. Do you understand? Oh well. It be what it be. Anyways, friends, it's only 5.30, but that means uh, I'm going to sleep extremely well tonight. I took my sleeping pills. I think that's what you got to do to keep yourself on schedule. Otherwise, you're waking up super early, all kinds of shit. But uh, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy this episode, we will be back with some more Project Zomboid quite shortly. Please stick around for that. And uh, it's going to go well. We don't have any zucchinis left, so I'll probably grab some of those and we'll have a little adventure. Uh, I'm thinking to the new part of the map that was implemented, the one that is west of West Point. I can't recall what it's called at the moment, but uh, there's surely plenty of goodies over there and we can probably establish a base and whatnot. So I hope you look forward to that. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do appreciate your support so, so much, especially the comments, especially the likes. I just, uh, I feel really encouraged by that, even if it's just a couple, you know, it, it means a lot to me. So thank you. Uh, do what you do. I will continue doing what I do, and let's reconvene a bit later. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching, friends. This has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.